Good afternoon, my name is Troy. Today is Wednesday, August 31st, 2022. <clears throat> I posted a video earlier today. I'm at the tail end of a 60 day carnivore challenge. Today's actually day 59. So I only got one more day of being carnivore. Um, I'm obviously gonna keep going with this for as long as I see fit. Um, but I was thinking earlier today, and the more I watch <clears throat> different YouTube videos about people who are on the going of our diet, the reasons always, you know, kind of intrigue me. But uh, it, it's also really intriguing that my own reasons for doing it are ever evolving. Like, I've got more reasons that I'm doing it now than I did when I started. <clears throat> So I just want to give you a little brief history. I did about 45 days of carnivore last year in 2021 and had great success, slimmed down pretty nicely. Um, the holiday season rolled around and I just blew it all out and, you know, just went back to eating a standard American diet. During that time, I got diagnosed with high blood pressure. <clears throat> or right before that time I got diagnosed with high blood pressure. So I got put on blood pressure medication. I did like 45 days of carnivore after that. Blood pressure went down, Well, my cholesterol went up. So I got put on a statin for that. I took the statin for probably six or seven months until this past May when I started to do, I decided to do carnivore again. The reason for that was because on June 27th, I was turning 50 years old and I have two siblings who were born with me and we're triplets. So we were all turning 50 all at the same time. And then so we were all gonna go down, meet in Florida and celebrate our 50th birthday. <clears throat> so I started doing carnivore in May, about a month and a half before my 50th birthday because I wanted to get in good shape and be really petty and look better than my brother who is very similar to, similar to me in looks and stature. Uh, it's totally a sibling rivalry thing. I'm not a vain person by nature, but I want to look better than my brother who there's always been a healthy competition with. So anyway, that's why I started Carnivore in May of this year. Along the way, I initially, you know, I started in May and went until June 29th. So during those 40 whatever days, I had it in my mind that I wanted to look better than my brother. But then I also no started noticing that I was feeling a lot better. And I was like, okay, well this, this is pretty nice. And my face got a little thinner and I wound up losing um, about five pounds. So I went from 212, which was my heaviest weight, down to about 207. Fast forward to the end of my Florida trip, plus another three or four days, I start carnivore again. So this would have been around the beginning of July-ish. Um, and I start seeing all these uh, other benefits. You know, my blood pressure is going down. Um, I have a lot more energy. I don't need to sleep as much. Like taking naps isn't as easy as it used to be because I'm not just tired all the time. Um, my skin's better. I didn't have bad skin to start with, but my skin's better. So anyway, I'm seeing all these benefits. And then so naturally, my <clears throat> reasons for being on the carnivore diet are changing with the more benefits that I see. And, you know, I, you know, at first it was weight loss. I was only concerned with weight loss. Um, but then I also noticed that I had gotten rid of some inflammation that I didn't know, even know that I had. I didn't know that I had inflammation, but all of a sudden my joints are better now. Energy levels, still trying to go for weight loss but then you start hearing all these other things on other carnivore channels about 
you know, people wanting to cut meat out altogether, force everybody into a plant-based diet. Bill Gates is buying up all the farmland and also we're allowing China to buy a ton of farmland in the, in the United States. Europe is going through the, thing, the same thing right now and they're farther ahead in the process than we are. Um, but we'll, we're headed that way. Food shortages all over the place. Um, they're basically trying to get rid of all the meat producers in the United States at the same time where men are being feminized and the people who are making decisions on behalf of millions of people without their consent are trying to make society as a whole weaker. I don't trust that at all. So I've decided that I want to be strong and the best way that I can, that I know how to do that, that I've seen the best way that I've seen any kind of research on is to do the carnivore diet. You can't just be a, a you know, a strong individual, I don't think, if you're just eating plants and plant-based crap. Um, I want to be strong because they want me to be weak. They want you to be weak. They want everybody to be weak. This is not a conspiracy theory. It just takes a little bit of research. And so that's why I started, you know, working out. Wanting to be strong gave me a reason to want to work out. I've never wanted to work out. I've always done carnivore. I've never cared about being strong. Um, but I know that in the coming months and years, I'm gonna have to be strong. If I wanna live, you're damn right. I'm gonna have to be strong. A lot of us are gonna have to be stronger than what we are. And so that's another reason that I'm going to continue on with the carnivore diet. Um, I'm on day 59 of 60, just like I said, but at this point, it's just another day. And two months from now, it's gonna be just another day. I'm gonna keep up with this. Um, and I'm gonna add more strength training to what I'm doing right now. Basically, the only thing I'm doing right now is walking and running, and I do 10 push-ups after I do every mile. That's it. I'm gonna incorporate more weight training. Um, and I'm gonna get in the best physical shape that I can because the people who are making decisions, the very few people who are making decisions on behalf of millions of people in hundreds of countries want me to be sick. They want me to be sick, they want me to weak, to be weak, and they want me to be about as feminine as I can be. And I don't I don't want that. I don't trust their reasoning because the only reason that I can think of why they would want me and every other person in America to be as weak as they can be is because they're gonna try to take us over with physical force. Call me a conspiracy theorist. I don't give a damn. It's what's going to happen. <clears throat> so they figure that they can either, either starve us all out or take us all over if we're physically unable to defend ourselves. Why do you think they're always trying to take our guns away from us? Because they can't hurt us if we have guns. They can't hurt us if we're physically strong. So, you know, and that, that's another reason why I want to be on the carnivore diet. It's going to help me build the muscle that I need to build. It's going to help my body work the way that it needs to work. It's going to help my immune system be what it needs to be uh, for the next whatever that comes out. And, you know, I'm, I intend to be ready. I, I made a video the other day wherein I said that I'm 50 and then I added I'm only 50 and you know I'm not done living by any stretch I want to live a good life I don't want to just live for the next 40 50 years I don't want to just be here I want it to be I want it to count I want it to be good I want it to be enjoyable I want to be able to do the things that I like doing and this way of eating is the only hope that I see and there's a there's a struggle coming where the powers that be want me to eat plant-based meat and plant-based everything else and I'm not going to have it. I'm not going to have it. Like I said, Bill Gates is buying up all kinds of farmland. We're letting China do the same thing. I would really love to sit to, to be able to just ask Bill Gates just one time. Can I ask you one question, Bill Gates? If 
I eat plant-based the way that you say that I should, the way that you're trying to make me, the way that you're trying to force me to do, if I were to eat that way, could I possibly aspire to have your physique? Could I possibly one day hope to look like you do with your flabby man breasts and with your gut that has been that is bigger than mine has ever been in my entire life? Can I hope to one day look like you do? Anybody who's pushing this crap, can I just aspire to look as good and as healthy as y'all do? Is that what I can hope for in my future? And I would just love to hear the kind of answer that he has for that. I would love for him to say, yes, you can look like me with my big flabby man breasts and my gut that is larger than any that you've ever had in your life. You can hope to look like me one day. Me, Bill Gates, you can hope to look like me. I would, I would love to see what his answer to that would be. I would just, I would love it. These people are killing me. So, and it's not just him. Like I said, it's China buying up all kinds of, you know, farmland, which a lot of it happens to be close to our military bases. Are you folks paying attention? Um, and we're going to get, the meat eaters are going to be rooted out and we're we're going to be forced to try to eat food that we don't want to take and it's going to be food that makes us sick it's going to be food that's going to be ultra processed and it's going to be food that will not us will not allow us to reach our full potential and, and that's because they are scared of us if we are at our full potential and that's all the reason I need right there to be at my full potential so talking about reasons I just gave you the biggest one right there um, I'm gonna be strong I'm gonna be way stronger than I am right now I'm not gonna bulk up I'm not gonna get Hulk like I'm not gonna be anything like that but by God I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna, gonna I'm gonna have good stamina I'm gonna be strong I'm not gonna be any kind of pushover and if anybody defeats me it's not gonna be an easy win I'm gonna tell you that right now all right so that's just kind of my self box it up it's all this stuff, you know, just more and more stuff comes out of it every single day, you know, about how farmers are being squeezed out. The FBI raided the dang Amish guy's house, farm up in Pennsylvania, told him to stop making, told him to stop farming, told him to stop breeding cattle and whatever it is he's doing up there. Do you believe this crap? <clears throat> like I said, call me a conspiracy theorist if you want. And don't do any research on it. Please don't do any research on it. If you're so, you know, cocksure about it, don't do any research on it. And see if you're not down on your knees in five years eating that crap that they're going to be trying to feed us. I'm going to be ready for it. And I hope everybody else is too. That's my take on it. Do with it what you will. Everybody have a great day.